shit. That was impressive. Was yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's Damn simple. it. It's sort of fucking cold in here. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, shit. Let's do it then. Oh. Well, Is it going? Are we going? Oh, it's going. Oh, shit. All right. Do I have my wand? Here we go. <laughs> We're in it. Well, welcome to the Weasley update. I'm Aiden Weiss, and I am, uh, I'm ripped and I'm ready to ramble. Most importantly, I'm here with Sam Dan Burroughs. What is up, yeah, dude? Yeah, what's up, man? I'm so glad you're on here. Yeah. It's, uh, what's the date today? Uh, August 2nd. August 2nd. All right. Yeah. Recording this on August 2nd, 2020. I'll drop it Wednesday. Oh, right on. That's, that's for whatever reason, that's just when I started doing it. I think I lined it up Wednesday? because of school. Yeah, like... It was just, when I started doing it, I think it was just easiest for me to do it on Wednesdays. Oh, okay. Because of my uh, schedule, but I don't know. Now, now I'm just, like, stuck to it. Oh, okay. Well, Wednesday's a good day. Yes, yeah, so Weasley Wednesdays. Oh, right Sort on. of taking the Western Wednesday thing. Dude, did you see that, uh, like, 90% of classes are going to be online? Yeah. That's, that's yeah, sort that's of crazy. Sucks. That's crazy, man. Um, I guess it'll enable me to, like, stay here, probably, and make money, oh. but... I don't know, because I'm doing yeah. an internship. And they, didn't, so. <laughs> they didn't drop the price at all. Man. I know. I know. My grandparents were asking me about that today. Them. Yeah, and I, you know what was so fucked up, too, is like this last quarter, they um, they were the only school in the state to not uh, refund students some amount of money. Mm. And I, I'm okay. under the impression, the impression that you could, but you had to apply and explain why mm. <laughs> you should get it back. Mm, you know, I'm just saying like part of that tuition is access to like the health center and the gym and stuff. And so if we can't go there, that's right, man, you know, yeah, paying for the gym. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to bitch about it too hard. I, I've got like two quarters left and I just want to bust through that shit. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm thinking too. Like, I'm going to go, you know. Yeah, I, I just re-signed my be. lease. So, oh yeah, that's right. Well, you know what's crazy? Like, um, Harvard's online too. And these people are like, you know, paying like thousands of dollars. Out the ass, yeah. Just to go to online. Wow. <laughs> that would be so shitty. Because mm-hmm. like, man, I didn't even think about it in the sense that if I was going to Harvard, I definitely want to be on campus. Yeah, There's right. like a prideful thing yeah, about yeah. that. And like, you know, part of going to Harvard is, man, I was just talking to somebody about this. But like part of it is going... And like connecting with people, yeah. And like you, you it's a like huge networking opportunity. Zoom? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I was. Crazy. I was. Uh, one of my classes last quarter was um, doing a PR campaign for the Western Front, mm-hmm. and uh, and like we had regular meetings independently with the with the two other people in my mm-hmm. group. But once it was over, like we never oh, talked to yeah. each other again. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh-huh. And I, I definitely do not hate on it. Here's the thing, though. I meant to, just out of respect, um, uh, like, send a text about, like, thanks for doing a good job or whatever, just because I always try to do that. Oh, yeah. But nice. I, I just forgot. Oh, yeah. Literally, literally <laughs> just forgot. What's up, Parker? Hey, Oh, my up? God. Yeah, get, get this fucker out of here. Oh, we're at another guest. Yeah, we, we can't <laughs> bring this fucker in here because he tries to get out. Oh, really? Yeah. What a perfect Thank you. Yeah. He's the sweetest fucking cat ever, though. What's, what's the cat's name? Scrump. Mm. All of our animals are named after Disney characters. Oh, right on. And Scrump is Lilo's stuffed animal from Lilo and oh, Stitch. Oh, no Have kidding. you seen that movie? Yeah, I saw that. And the big green and <coughs> ugly thing. Oh, yeah. That's Scrump. Oh, we just well. call him Kitty. It's our. Yeah, the kitten is, uh, she's locked up because she just, like, got her tubes tied, so she's not supposed to be, like, running around for two weeks, but she's still oh, jumping. Damn. Yeah, it's, oh my god. You got the uh, tubes tied. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you know, you gotta fuck. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I, I, did, I didn't know that's how it was done, though. <laughs> uh-huh. I literally thought that there was, like, a an easier way to do it yeah I guess reason. I never really thought about it um, <laughs> but yeah so you know her like stomach is shaved right now but, oh yeah so I try to like go into my parents room and give her love whenever possible because uh-huh. I know she's so lonely being locked up in there <laughs> uh, but yeah she, she her name is Meep which is a Phineas and Ferb character oh it's like this little alien um, thing you know what I'm thinking about right now huh um, I'm thinking do they literally tie him up and like what kind of knot 
What did you use when you're tying up two? Oh my god. <laughs> do you like tie First, it? First, you're asking you, hard questions you, here. Do, would you tie it like a shoelace? Or would you do like a like a square knot or something? Because like you you really can't like let them. Wow, <coughs> man, that's pretty. That's honestly you know, a really good question. You know I have no idea what the, what the procedure is like. I, I have no, no idea how different no it is for cats uh-huh. and people. Yeah, that's right. Like, oh, I have no idea. I think we. I mean, because don't they like actually cut dogs' balls off? I think so. What in the fuck? I don't know, man. Dude? I don't know. I don't get it, man. Can you it's all imagine that? Up. It's all if like you, up, a vasectomy was you getting your mm-hmm. your balls off, mm. that would literally change the way you like walk <laughs> and sit. Yeah, yeah, oh my, yeah. That'd be. I would not want it. No, absolutely not. I'm I just like it. looking yeah. at that picture of my nephew. Oh, I really? think we've got some like photo albums down there from a bunch of Disneyland trips. Oh, do you? Yeah, you know, I am still, for that reason, probably in some unconscious level, like, still really into photo albums. I haven't looked through those in a while, but I think it's still cool to have, like, you know, like, look at this shit on the table. My parents sort of fucking stacked the house with that shit. Dude, I I don't want to show off either, but Parker painted that shit. Oh, this this right over here? Yeah, have you ever seen Lava? It's a, uh, it's a Pixar short. Oh, you know, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, with the two, the two volcanoes. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, my dad's. That's what it. the. And not like that exactly. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Oh, that poor fucker. What's I up, feel Katie? so bad. But he, dude, <laughs> this is all night, every wow. night. At dude, Cole stayed the night recently, mm-hmm. and he at like two in the morning he woke up and he was just like he doesn't shut the fuck up, does he? And I was like, no. <laughs> no. Like way. he just sits at the front door like this. Well. It, you know, you know, puts in boots from Shrek. Uh-huh. It's it. This is exactly what it's like, dude. He oh. just gives you these eyes. He mm-hmm. meows, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh. we just don't let him out at night. Oh yeah. You know, he can do what he wants in the day, but mm-hmm. at nighttime we. Does it go outside in the day? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So he's an outdoor indoor cat. Yeah. Wow. But at nighttime we keep him inside, and this is the result. Mm-hmm. He's a perpetual bitcher. Look at that. He's so cute though. Dude. He's cute though. I'm not totally he's convinced he's so... he's not got some some coon in him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did did I ever tell you about the first time I uh, found out Maine Coon cats were a thing? Wait, what are you talking about? Y- you know Maine Coon cats? No. Burrs, you have no idea how like vindicating that feels. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking Burrs. about? Burrs. <laughs> That is so vindicating. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you exactly how I found out about it. I'm delivering pizza, Mm -hmm. and uh, I pull into this driveway, and there is a huge cat sprawled out (laughs) across this, like, dirt driveway with a huge fluffy tail Uh uh, like my cat has. And I was just like, holy shit, that is a really really big cat mm-hmm. and I get out of the car and I walk past <laughs> and I'm like hey kitty and it chirped at me sort sort of like Yobi but not the same like when it oh. when it made this noise I was like what the fuck it, <laughs> like, chirped at you. it was really weird so um I don't think that's like a main coon cat thing but like it, it was just like it made a okay. really weird noise at me so I walk towards the house and uh, I'm making the transaction and I just tell the dude like you have a really beautiful cat and he was like oh it's a main coon cat He's like, I've got six of them inside. You want to come see? Like, they, they just had babies, and I'm like, yeah, Maine like coon cats, Maine like coon cats, me, and huh, dude? <laughs> that sounds like a video. Oh, you, 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 you can look this up right now. I swear to God. So, I go inside. I see the mom, okay. and it literally looks like a cat that someone surgically <laughs> applied a raccoon's tail to. <laughs> like, weirdest fucking thing, right? Oh, so, um, I, I see the babies. I This dude's, like, really excited to tell me about it. I'm really excited to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm on pulling... A pizza on a pizza delivery. I'm pulling out of the driveway, and I call my mom, and I'm like, Mom, you are not going to believe this shit. Uh-huh. I'm like, I just delivered pizza to these people whose cats are part raccoon and she was like oh main coon cats it's and I, I was yeah i was like what like <laughs> you know about this and uh-huh. she was like yeah they're super popular i guess it's really really common for 
raccoons to fuck cats. Oh my gosh. And they have, and these babies are really expensive, dude. Maine Coon cats are are really expensive cats. Oh man. Um, I yeah. Never, never knew that was a thing. I I know, dude. I'm so glad you didn't know oh, that wow, because it, it was crazy to yeah. me. Huh. It's, it's I mean, huh. And they were like bigger. They were bigger. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. Definitely bigger. Uh, the babies just looked like regular cats. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, right but the the two, it was weird because it it wasn't. It didn't seem to me like it was like a raccoon, fucking a cat situation. Yeah. It seemed like two main. Excuse me, Jesus, two main coon cats. Oh, fucking, I see. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there was that one in the driveway and uh, then one inside. Mm. Two like big ones and then a oh, litter of kittens. Oh, I see. So that <laughs> would make the kittens. 25% raccoon. It's like some cat superhero shit, dude. <laughs> That's actually a horrible way to put that, because I'm pretty sure... No, I, I, I don't know what cats are like... Can I, I don't know. Like it, <laughs> that that sounds like a, a pretty fucked up situation in nature, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. I have no idea, but I guess uh, we, as a culture, have decided to value them very highly. I I wonder what a Maine Coon cat goes for in comparison to other cats. I just found out about it. Because, like, I'm sure you can, like, (laughs) I don't know, like, you can just go get a cat for free, you know? Could you? Right? Can't you just go down to, like, a shelter? Oh, yeah, well... Like, what what do they call that? Saving a uh, rescue? Rescue, yeah. A rescue is just free. Yeah, I, I was under the impression they were oh. free, unless there's like some I sort of like feet. I don't know. Because didn't <laughs> Brett get Yobi for free? Oh, was it? Uh, did he? I have no idea. Maybe, oh, well, maybe yeah. I'm totally wrong, but I was under the impression one. Yeah, like I, Bill I, Burr said something about something. that in his stand up. Yeah, like yeah. it's like you didn't rescue a dog, like you just. You know, <laughs> got a free dog. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna take a joke as like a <laughs> serious uh-huh. indication of what yeah. reality is, but that that definitely did put me under the impression they were free. Yeah, it would make sense. I've no idea. I've never bought a pet. When I got caught, I was either. five years old. Oh, really? My parents did the whole thing. The night before. I got them for my fifth birthday the night before I was at my uncle's house and uh, they called me and they were like do you want a snake or a lizard and um or like would you rather have a snake yeah, or a right lizard on. sort of thing and uh much to my dad's dismay I chose the snake he really does not like snakes <coughs> yeah he's only touched him one time oh no kidding yeah um actually he, he got out for a while have I told you about this the snake did? Yeah. Oh, dude, when I was... No way. It was probably like seven or eight. His his terrarium was on the floor. And, you know, it's got that oh. mesh lid. He's in Ryder's room right oh. now. Um, and I was playing tag with this girl <laughs> and in my room. And I pushed her. And she, like, <laughs> landed on it and broke the mesh lid. It just, like, peeled oh, inwards. No totally blamed it on her. I was. It was a real big shit bird move. I got it all. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's actually, funny. in my head, one of those things I look back on, you know, like, mm. late nights, and I'm like, ooh, why do you do that? <laughs> you know, like, anyway, I was a little kid. I, I, that's no excuse, but, you know, like, no, I got you. Um, I got you. That's funny. so he got out, uh-huh. and uh, and he was gone for, like, six months. And, six months? Dude, and at that point, you just assume he got out of the house. Yeah. But, but here's the thing is, that house had a rodent problem, and... um Oh, this was your old place. Yes, this was uh, down to Thrasher. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this place had a rodent problem when we lived there, and so I'm sure he had no shortage of... Oh, my... He was just feast. Rub. Yeah, and... Uh, That's my, crazy. Yeah, and my dad found him in the shower. In the shower? Yeah, so oh, my parents had, had, had a bathroom connected to... It was actually a sort of weird setup. So you went into the hallway. Uh-huh. You, there was, uh, you know... It was like four doors, right? Bathroom, gotcha. my sister's room, gotcha. my grandma's room, gotcha. and my room. Yeah. But to get to my parents' room, you had to go through my room. So you'd go into my room, and straight ahead there was another door. And you'd just like walk through. And, it, it uh-huh. was, and the only other way in was a sliding glass door through the backyard. Uh-huh. Which I, I just think in retrospect is so fucking 
sounds stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there had to have been a better way uh-huh. to, to do that. Yeah, Excuse I wonder what you're thinking. I don't know, it. but they had a bathroom attached. Okay. Like, as soon as you open the door to the right, and it, it, uh, yeah. it, it wasn't a bath. It was just, like, you know, a shower. Yeah. Um, and I have no idea how he got in there, but... That's crazy. Yeah, my dad found him, like, slithering up the wall and just, like, That's yelled nice. for me. Yeah. <laughs> we just like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> you know? It, yeah. Oh, man. That's nuts. So fucking pumped about it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then we got clamps for his cage. Oh, that's smart. Which, you know, that wasn't the problem because I broke the oh, cage. Yeah. But you, it was, you definitely need to do that. Because, like, at night, he would uh, slither up. Oh. Up the ceiling and, like, sort of, like, push it up. Oh, man. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, they That's can crazy. they can fit through so much shit. There was one time last year I was cleaning his cage mm-hmm. and uh and I keep like peeking into the bathroom l- looking at him and uh Where was at, he at? In, like the tub at, at one point no, I, I just set him in a box and oh, like let him right run around and do his thing. For right whatever right. reason he loved the corner by the toilet. Really? I, or you know, I think he just loved like being able to slither up against the like uh cabinet under the Whoa, sink yeah. you know what i mean and there was a little hole under there he would always try to slither through but um he started slithering through one of the dresser drawers in my room no kid and i'm like oh my god what are you doing yeah. dude he's a fucking uh-huh. thick ass snake dude and I, i'm like holding oh my god <coughs> and uh and it, because then it was like okay if he gets under there then how the fuck am i getting him out yeah. so i literally just had to like <laughs> let him get his way in there and then dump the whole fucking thing over oh, whoa. and uh, grab him so oh my you, gosh you fucking fucker wow. dude yes yeah, uh, sometimes it's a all over. yeah dude i just um cleaned his cage recently and did like a big summer rehaul uh-huh. you know uh because usually yes i have to ask if this is you i'm recording a, a fucking podcast what is this oh sorry wait did i just like <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's cool. Mom told me to show you this. Oh, well, Let's tell mom. Stuff. I'll fucking watch it okay, later. Sorry. <laughs> that pair of platypus jacket used to be mine, if I'm going to be totally oh, right honest. On. Yep. I, uh, I remember just like coming back from a trip with it on in seventh grade, and, uh, and Jackson just laid into me. I knew it was coming. I uh-huh. knew it was coming and I, I took it proudly. Yeah. Every trip I came back with some stupid shit like that. It's kind of a stylish item, I'll be honest. Yeah, it had like a little clip on fedora. Too. Mm. Did you ever watch that show? Yeah, I did watch that show. Dude, they're making a new movie. They're making Ooh. a new SpongeBob movie, too. What? What? Yeah. I'll pretty much watch anything SpongeBob related. Oh, yeah. You know, I guess I haven't I mean, seen the last it, movie, it, but. It oh, dude, I just watched Good Time. Oh, that that movie's that? fantastic! Holy shit, that dude! That movie's fantastic. I wow, yeah, I just, uh, it's tension. Just I know just now. Now I really feel like I need it. to watch Uncut Gems. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen that? No, dude. Okay, so I didn't even oh, realize man. that the the Safety Brothers or whatever did Good Time. Mm-hmm. I just remember seeing like some trailers for it and I was like that looks interesting yeah. saw it on Netflix and, mm-hmm. and it was late at night but I was like oh it's go time that's right yeah. watch that shit I, dude like spoiler alert I'm gonna give you fucking three seconds dude one <laughs> one hit one like you find out he got the wrong person from oh. the hospital I, I i literally shot up from my bed uh-huh. and i was like what in the fuck am i watching yeah man that Dude. was nuts that was a what nice a one. crazy plot those guys are good man those guys are real good yeah and, and right uncut gems is record. also on netflix so i yeah, sort of have right. that's no no excuse yeah um i really need to watch the umbrella academy too have you ever heard of that is that that thing with the monkey? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen, the, I've seen the, the little trailer for that. So, my so whole that. family's really into it. My dad told me, he was like, it's like made for you. Uh, mm. Because it's very uh, tongue-in-cheek, I guess, and like gory, and oh. just like, you know, oh, like, right, right. an interesting take on the superhero thing. Have, cool. You watched The Boys, right? Yeah. Dude. That was pretty cool. Just got renewed for a third season. And they haven't even dropped the second one yet, had they? 
Yeah, September 4th, I think. Oh, that's oh, right. Okay, they're that's to. like a month away. Yeah. They're dropping like three episodes at once, too. <sighs> wow. I'm going to blow through that shit. <coughs> There's just like, mm-hmm. after Game of Thrones ended, there was just like so few shit. Yeah, that's right. I was watching it. In some way, I sort of compensated by playing video games mm. like more than. I ever have mm-hmm. playing just Fortnite with Brett. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. god! Spring of last year, we uh, were going so hard. Oh that. yeah, that it was right. ridiculous, dude. I just got into the Arkham games again. Mm. I spent six hours playing Arkham Knight last. Oh, night. you can easily do. You can easily do that because that's the only one I've never beat. Which one? Arkham Knight. That's the most recent one, right? Yeah, I just replayed that actually. Really? That's funny. Yeah, dude. That's okay, funny so that. I loved all of those games but yeah. when the when it came out like we only had a family ps4 uh-huh. and you cannot play those games on that like time you know what i mean yeah when it's like the family t- yeah. tv because they're yeah, just so it. intricate yeah. yeah and uh and i've had it honestly forever and, mm-hmm. and uh probably five nights ago i was like i'm gonna bust yeah, this that's i was right. i was 23 percent done now i'm 96 percent oh dude I, I got the oh, seasons stop. pass to five bucks oh, was it really are you shitting me yeah and it came with a ton of skins and uh and some like side missions mm. like four side missions right that were pretty cool some like yeah. mr free shit and stuff uh-huh. oh, um cool. but also like a harley quinn thing a red hood thing a Nightwing thing and a Robin thing and oh. a Catwoman thing and a Batwoman thing. So I, oh, wow. I honestly a still bunch. have like a lot to do. But wow. uh but yeah, when I got on today and saw I was like ninety percent done. Yeah. I was like, Oh use bitch. <laughs> like uh-huh. that bumps me out. I uh oh god. Did you hear they're soft rebooting them? Oh. Huh. What does that mean? Um soft reboot? Yeah. It's I don't know I don't know what that looks like in game format but it's oh, base it's basically one? like oh yeah <coughs> they're making a new one they've been teasing it for a while it's, right it's on, gonna man. be some court of owl shit it sounds like but uh, court of owls yeah have you ever heard of that no it's just like a a cool Batman story. that's a Batman thing yeah I actually it's a it's a recent Batman thing like oh, a okay. twenty fifteen thing oh uh, I actually gave Jake a comic on it. Um, oh, cause you know Lucas, Lucas Staple. Oh yeah, yeah leave that yeah, shit out. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get this wrong or anything, but his uncle or something like mm-hmm. created Teen Titans or some shit, and like did a bunch of other shit for DC. What? So he had a bunch of comics that that he gave. Oh, me. okay. Yeah, and, and I read the first like court. It's pretty thick. Mm-hmm. I read the first like court of owls thing. You know, yeah. like hardback with yeah, like yeah. the sleeve over top, oh, yeah. and it was really really interesting. Okay. And I never like purchased anything after that, but I lent it to Jake, and he mm-hmm. was pretty into it too. Right on, man. Yeah, that's just such a cool format. The comic. Uh, yeah, and like yeah, graphic man. novels. Yeah. It's just. Man, finding yeah. the right artist for that. You know what's mm-hmm. so funny? I um, you know, Kingdom Hearts, those video games. Yeah. So I, those were like my favorite video games growing uh-huh. up, which makes total sense, right? Because mm-hmm. it's Disney. So um, I remember at Ofsted fourth grade at the book fair, there was a Kingdom oh. Hearts book. A oh yeah. Book. The book fair. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> yes, yes, like, okay. yeah, and and I got this book, and I didn't realize it was read backwards. You know what I mean? So oh, start, and, oh, and so I'm God. freaking out, dude. Like, my fourth grade mind can, um, I, I, cause like my concern is like, I just spent my mom's money on this and I got like a broken book. You know what I'm like? I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, my mom's gonna kick my ass. Yeah. And then, uh, this, this Thomas kid, I believe his name was just like, was like, no, you just read it from the back. And I was like, oh, yeah. I see. That's crazy, man. Did you, like, yeah. spoil it for yourself, the opening? Well, it, it just, like, it was just a comic of the the uh, games, you know? Oh, I see. So I, I sort see. of already knew mm-hmm. it. But I, I was more into it for the art, anyway. Oh, for sure. So I, uh, yeah. Dude, you know, there is a distinct <coughs> moment, in my mind at least, mm-hmm. where my my art, like, got good. Oh, yeah. Like, it was... Ooh, yeah, how really. old was I... Probably eight years old. I had a Pirates of the Caribbean two poster uh-huh. right above my little, like Crayola desk, oh, yeah. and uh, and I, I I just literally like, 
drew Jack Sparrow. And oh, well. It was the first time, like, I don't know. The big thing, I think, was the eyes. Like, oh, yeah. yeah totally. here, here was the thing, though. Nara was always drawing, and so I had that influence, too. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just remember drawing this really... And it's not even like I remember it because my parents, like, were like, wow, good job. Because I don't remember that part at all. Uh-huh. I don't even think they yeah. did. But, uh, but like, in my head, I remember being like, yeah, this is the shit. Like, uh-huh. I was, I thought it was so good. I, I like, tried to teach my cousin how, oh. how to do it. <laughs> and, like, cool. he was he was just so into it. He was like, no, dude, I want to go play this. And I was like, no. He's like... <laughs> Oh. Eight year old me, dude. Right that on. that time, man. Yeah. Oh man, I just had so many fucking toys. The the most toys I probably ever had for like one thing were probably like Lord of the Rings. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Van Helsing. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. Had a ton. You were into that, huh? Dude, That's at, funny. <laughs> at the time that that came out, my dad worked at Blockbuster. Oh, really? And he, like most shifts, would come back with a toy for my sister and I from Blockbuster. Oh, that's it was like a Van Helsing thing, and every one of them came with like this goop that had like eyes and shit in it. But oh. uh, my mom made him stop because we were getting the goop in the carpet. Oh, <laughs> it was no. like. Yeah, but I, I mean, I had a bunch of shit for that anyways. Like, big action figures, small action figures. I had Van this Dracula. <laughs> Van Weeson. <laughs> I had the mask and, like, the little blade things. Oh, wow, that's sick. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, too, was huge. And then probably, if, if I had to think, like, over the course of my life, Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Oh, I remember. Oh, that, I had a bunch so of lightsabers hard. back in the day. Oh, little, yeah, dude. Some Obi-Wan action ones. figures. Oh, my God. <laughs> The full that ones were the best, especially the ones that didn't light up because uh-huh. the, the you, god damn, I can't talk right now. I got so excited oh, yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. They'd go inside all the way, yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. The light ones just like for the first like mm-hmm. foot, just mm-hmm. no, that yeah, always the ones been in all the way was sick. Ugh. Yeah, now they just do the the fully erect ones that the don't f- go inside. Dude, That's right. Star Wars land out in mm. the fucking lightsaber shop. It's crazy. Mm. It's insane. They're selling four hundred, five hundred dollar lightsabers, and and there's never not a person buying one. Oh my god! It's insane. There's just this big glass case full of lightsaber hilts, hilts, and like some some are like full things, but um, yeah, it's. Cr- I mean, th- they they were selling like a six hundred dollar Kylo Ren lightsaber. Like there was a series of them. They were like six hundred dollars, like a Darth Vader oh, one, man. a Kylo Ren one, a Luke one. Oh my god! Only one, yeah. And, but there's also a two hundred dollar experience, where and I wanted to do this so bad, and my dad was giving me shit, but it really is more for the experience. But like, okay. you go in and you construct a lightsaber. Ooh. It's like this big group thing, and I think I've seen like a little clip. Like yeah, a little video yeah, 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 in a temple, and like the That's Yoda really talks, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. it looks so so fucking that cool. That does look pretty cool. Um, but you're not allowed to like pull them out in the park, so they give you these big fancy things to put them in and sling them around your. Oh, you can't bring them out. No. Oh. Because you can't be like. Yeah. And <laughs> shit. Probably frowned upon. Dude, them, it's man. just it's it was really impressive because yeah. uh, they put it like right next to Frontierland, and I was like, how the fuck are they gonna? Would they put like, the whole Star Wars land next to Frontierland? Yeah, but fourteen acres, I, because, I, I it like they couldn't possibly expand out towards like Tomorrowland because that's just like street and hotels. No sir. Yeah. Um. But damn, dude, it just, I was like, man, that's going to be out of place. They did it right. Oh, my land, but fuck, the transition is seamless. Really? Well, they yeah, Imagineers, down, dude. I've been they watching these down. videos on YouTube, um, Imagineering in a Box, and, uh, and it's like, they sort of do them in seasons in the sense that each episode is like zero, zero point one, zero point two, oh. and then like, you know, like the first one will be an introduction so, it, so they don't it? say seasons it's uh it's just imagineers like going through the process of making disneyland parks no kidding or you know disney so it's like sort of right? behind the scenes holy fuck it's crazy and it's Look, uh it's yeah. a really recent thing um and so they're talking about like the the newest biggest things and one of them is the shanghai pirates of the caribbean pirates of the caribbean ride uh-huh. caribbean maybe um 
But it's insane. Dude. Like, I, 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 as soon as it dropped, it was such a big deal that, like, my family and I were watching videos. Oh, like, man. what the fuck is this? Yeah. Um, Ryder put it on his bucket list that he wants to, like, visit every Disney park. And I was like, that is a pretty fucking good bucket list. Item. Yeah, like, um, like, they got one in Tokyo, right? Oh, yeah. To- and... Tokyo, uh, Shanghai. Um, oh, wow. Paris, yeah, uh, Hong Kong, man, international, Florida. I've only been to Disneyland, Disney World. Uh, yeah. I went to Disney World one time. Me too. You you went semi recently, right? Yeah, that was pretty recently. How yeah, many years ago years would you ago? say that was? How many years? You also did Harry Potter Land, right? Yeah, the Universal Studios. Yeah, see, I want to do that. That was pretty cool. So fucking bad. Especially recently, because I marathoned those movies. Oh, did you? Those are good movies. Oh my god, they're so, so good. Well. It's just like, when I was getting to the last few, I was so sad. Mm. Yeah, they get... They get sad. <laughs> they get so sad and just like, oh man, what, what, spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't seen no, these, yeah. but like, when Dobby dies, oh. every time it's just like, you bastards. Yeah, that's messed up, man. You know, I read something today about how like, Lord of the Rings is the most nominated franchise ever. I read the same thing. And I, dude, I, yeah. I was like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. unbelievable. Yeah. You know, fuck. The, I just... Oh, I love that. The, the so. CG. I also just watched all of those. I gotta watch pretty them. recently yeah, because uh, Parker hadn't seen any of them. Oh no, kidding. Um, yeah, and so my my mom and I sort of like forced him to watch them. Yeah, with right us. On. But but he was into them. I'm still reading that fucking book. And it's oh yeah. It's so dense. <laughs> it's almost discouraging because it's yeah. like you read so much and you don't even put it put it right, down. Right, right, right. I've tried to start it so many times. Oh yeah, that's another dense one, huh? Yeah, yeah, fucking seriously. I don't know, like I, I just need to be doing more reading, especially for oh. the sake of writing. You Dude, know? We, don't we all, man? Don't we? No all? shit. I uh, I love reading. I just like never remembered to, to you know do it. Like, Dude, I, I want to read you know, uh, audio books. That that's the thing. It's like I need to get back into the habit of doing that while I'm delivering pizza. Mm. Audiobooks, yeah. Especially last year, because I was coming home every weekend. Um, and so there was a, a four hours uh-huh. round trip at least. Yeah. And if a book is like six hours long, then oh, dude, that's sick. most of it busted yeah. out. Wow. Yeah, seriously. There's there's still a few on my list. I just have like a stack of writing books um, oh, yeah. in my room. And it's sort of like I'm reading two at a time and then... Once I get through one, it's on to the next. Oh, right just on. just twenty five pages a day. Oh, okay. I was reading three. Um, uh-huh. I was reading ten of Lord of the Rings, ten of Stephen King on writing, and then five from that mixing book. Dude, Dude I forgot the mixing book. <laughs> I was gonna get, gonna get First, back to you. D- yeah. Don't sweat. It. I have a a really extensive notebook. Okay, right. So on. it wasn't like a, a loss. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, so good, right? It really good. So, so fucking good. I still need to download a saturation plugin. Uh-huh. Did you do that? <laughs> I don't think we did any saturation. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I think it, it turned out good anyways, but oh my god, Meep somehow. Oh, that this is the it. Tubes Tide Cat. <laughs> That's Meep. What a cute little fucker. Well, look at that. Yeah. Oh, she's small. She is small. Um, is she a kitten? Yeah. No kitten? Yeah. Oh, no uh, no kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh. Hey, Mom. Right, huh? Hey, Mom. Meep's down here. Meep is down here. I don't know. What's <laughs> Is she not supposed to be down here? No, she's supposed to be locked up in my, oh. in my mom's room, you know? Not yeah. running around. Yeah. Because she just got fucking mm-hmm. surgery. But she is so energetic that it's, you can't stop her. You can't stop her. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Are you staying? Where are you staying? Up in the guest yep. room with that? Yeah. Yep. How's that been? Uh, it's this summer, I'm not going to lie, pretty miserable oh, most yeah. nights. Because <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, <laughs> Dude, it is so fucking hot. That's why my sleeping schedule is the way it is. Oh, my God. 
She's still back. Okay. Oh, the cat's Give back. Ten seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh the cat. <laughs> the cat is now darting around the room. Avoiding Whis. <laughs> and doing a pretty good job of it. Here we go. Oh my god. She's so fucking cute. So mischievous. She's a. That's she's a rambunctious. Huh? Where are you going? Oh my god. Well. She's really dodging you. I just uh, guess I'm just gonna have to do the podcast from right here. <laughs> I mean, should we move the couch out to get this? To get no, this? No, she'll come out. Come on, you little fucker. Yeah, that's, oh my god. The big thing is just like, oh, oh, dude, not letting her get out. <laughs> Woo. Maybe, maybe, me. Beautiful cat, right? Yeah. Hey. Nice drive. I can tell she has no raccoon in her. <laughs> yeah, none of Well, I think. So, see you later, right, we're running for Well, it's just me, folks. I'm taking over the Weasley update. <laughs> this is now the, the Bursley update. <laughs> <laughs> you, Burs. you should make your own podcast. Uh, yeah. I bet you could do your own podcast. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have enough to say. Really? <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, I got a lot of shit to say. Yeah. So, I guess, uh, you, yeah, you I guess the it rambling, sort man. of came naturally to mm-hmm. me. It's just mostly fucking stupid opinions and on shit. Uninformed opinions as well. Yeah. I, um, That's good. I am just in my own little bubble. Uh-huh. Obviously, playing a lot of Batman recently. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, working yeah. on my Batman voice. That's God right. damn, dude. Kevin Conroy just kills it. Yeah, was he like the one no that one did else it can do it? Oh yeah, and like the animated series as a kid, yeah. that shit is so awesome. Mm, yeah, I've considered buying that all on DVD. Oh, that'd be cool. I was so fucking into that show. Yeah. Did you ever watch Batman Beyond? You know, I never did. the uh, The only one I watched those was like Justice League. It was really really into Justice, the League animated Justice League. Justice League. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, dude. Mm-hmm. Batman Beyond was the shit my dad and I used to watch that a mm, bunch. Right on. They made a really cool fucking movie too. Yeah. Oh man, if they make a live action version of <sighs> That's what like with like the all black Batman. Yeah, like the red bats. Yeah, that's them. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really uh it's cool because like Batman is has been done so many times mm-hmm. that that would be a pretty refreshing take. Yeah. Know? True. I don't know, we'll see what Pat Sid has got. Oh yeah. Oh, he yeah. he's legit. When's that coming out? Uh, next summer, I believe. Oh no, again. I do not know though. I know it starts filming again pretty soon. Yeah. God damn! I hope it's good, dude. Mm-hmm. I really hope it's good. I'm gonna be tuned tuned into the Snyder Cut as well. Oh, when's that coming out? Uh, probably around the same time. It'll oh, be really? the first time in history two Batman's well. Appear in the same year. <laughs> Woo, and then Michael Keaton potentially coming back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's been my favorite fucking skin playing in Arkham Knight. Oh, yeah. God, Michael Keaton is definitely my Batman. Mm. Oh, my you think Batman. so? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen the one with him in it. There's two of them. <laughs> oh. So, do you ever seen the Batman with Michelle Pfeiffer? Hmm, no. Burks. It's arguably the best Batman. Really? Movie. See, I thought the. Uh... The Chris Nolan, Christopher Nolan. Oh, movie. dude. Those movies Rocky are Man so crazy. Yeah. I was... Th- that first one came out in 2005, right? Six years old. Yeah. I remember being in that Thrasher house playing on some, like, little kid town. Yeah. And then going and seeing that at the NB Theater. Uh-huh. God, what a dope fucking movie. Because, like, if you yeah. told me now as an adult, Christopher Nolan's taking on Batman, I'd be like, oh my god. Yeah, true. This is gonna be crazy. True. And it yeah. was. I love his movies. God, but, like, I, I know people, like, shit on this all the time, but I truly can't get over his voice sometimes. Oh. <laughs> like, it's, it's really, really bad at this. <laughs> And like, I couldn't do it better, but I think I think that's one thing, 
the Ben Affleck crew did way better. Oh, so they were yeah. like, let's just modulate it. Uh-huh. Like, you know, True. at that point. Because that's, Kevin Conroy is the, the only one who can convincingly do it. Yeah, that's true. I mean? Got used uh, to his. I'm Batman. <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> that's funny. I fucking wish, dude. <laughs> I'd be yeah. so much more of, like, a Robin. I'd actually be more like a goon. Like a scared goon. You know what I mean? It's like, have you guys heard of this guy? Yeah. You heard what he does to people? Yeah, the, like one of those guys chatting on the little voice comments. Oh, dude, like, that's such a cool yeah. feature. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fucking Spider Man really just like, mm. th- like, did a Spider Man version of those games. Yeah, totally. That's but that's crazy. what the like initial rumors of these new games were saying was that uh, was that basically Rocksteady or whoever makes those games was sort of upset that they made mm. a Spider Man game in the same vein and did mm. it better. So they're oh. like coming back oh, with, no. with a vengeance. Yeah, soft reboot. So it's just like. <sighs> Some story elements will remain the same. I'm uh-huh. sure it's visually going to look like super similar. Oh, yeah. They were going to do a Superman game, an Arkham Superman game, but I think they realized it'd be boring as fuck. Uh, so, yeah. Dude, like, what do you do in a Superman game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly why I think, like, Superman movies suck. Yeah. It's like it's either kryptonite or it's got to be some giant world ending fucking thing uh-huh. you know yeah you're right he's he's, he's too powerful you know? they gotta like tone it back <laughs> yeah. but it's too late dude. he's been around for <laughs> so too. long like if you took a single thing away there would be a huge outcry oh yeah and he, he's actually getting more powers in the comics oh is he really yeah, what like, else can like, they that's do? what he needs some like big supernova burst <laughs> or like I don't know. They also, like, recently in the comics made Wolverine's blades. Like, he can make them, like, piping hot. It's like, dude, they're already... <laughs> what? I know, like, ah. Uh, I don't oh, they know. just run that idea, man. I know, man. I wonder what the next Wolverine's gonna be like. Oh, they're, they're that, rocking that's... more of those, too? Oh, yeah. They're definitely doing more X-Men. Really? Marvel's got them now. Same with Fantastic Four. Oh, but they didn't before? <coughs> no, dude. Fox has owned the when oh, snap. M- Marvel was going bankrupt in the nineties, so they mm-hmm. sold the movie rights of Spider Man to Sony oh. and X Men in the Fantastic Four and I believe Namor to Fox. Oh snap. That's why like the two have never interacted. Well, oh wow. But since Disney bought Fox, now they're you know, Oh yeah. Making them doing a new blade. Oh, 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 yeah, dude. That was one of the early ones. Did. Oh, Parker sent me, like, a Marvel quiz yeah. yesterday. You had, like, five minutes probably, and you just had to type in as many movies as you could that were adaptations of Marvel movies. And there was just a list of, like, 75 or whatever. Oh. And, and it was just years. That was all it gave you. Oh. And I'm I'm and I just started oh, with like cool. I thought X Men just typed in every X Men movie and like Captain America and just typed in every one of those. Yeah, right. But towards the end, I was like two thousand three, two thousand seven. Like what the fuck am I missing? Yeah. And it, it was Blade and fucking Daredevil oh. and like Fantastic Four. And I was like, oh my god, because oh, those movies ass. Those movies are ass. They're <laughs> like the Ben Affleck Daredevil dude. I've never seen that. It's laughably bad. Is it really? It's it's like a meme in the in that like community. It's no really kidding. bad. It's Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Mm. Jennifer wow, Garner, I, whoever his, I've never heard his ex wife is. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, uh, like he's Daredevil, she's Elektra, and um, and John Favreau's Foggy Nelson. You watched the show, right? Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, dude. I really wish he he would stick around. I really that wish they would right. integrate Daredevil into that shit. Yeah. Cause he that's like some of the best Marvel content out there. That was you pretty good. I mean? Just so like show. down was... to earth and yeah, serious. Yeah. Did yeah, you watch The Punisher? No, I don't think I did. 
super into that. It was it was like this. It was cool for all the same reasons as Daredevil. Like I watched a Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Yeah. Um, just not really into it. Um, Luke Cage was pretty cool. It, I guess Jessica Jones was cool. Um. <laughs> yeah, that Daredevil show was pretty good. Charlie Cox, just a super good cast too. Oh yeah. That chick was on True Blood, so I really liked her going in. Oh, that yeah. that was like my parents. Uh, Nara and my parents watched True Blood and uh, Game of Thrones at the same time, oh. and that was like those coveted shows I couldn't yeah. watch until I was a certain age. Oh, yeah. So I remember when they let me watch, I started with True Blood and got oh, super into it. Have you heard of that? It was the vampires. Right? Yeah. So, oh, dude, it's all sorts of shit. Oh. Fairies, oh. were panthers, <laughs> like Wear it's. Panther. It is wild, oh, but the last two... It was sort of like Game of Thrones. The last two seasons just shit the bed so hard. Oh, that's such a bummer. I actually, in like October probably, remembered a character. And uh, and he's just like such a good character. His name's Russell Edgington, and he's the gay vampire king of Louisiana. <laughs> and uh, and I just, I just remember, Whoa. like, I looked him up. I looked up whatever first episode he was on. And rewatched it from there. Mm. Until spoiler alert, he died. And oh. then I was like, "Yeah, I'm done again." Oh yeah, wow! It's such an entertaining show for a time, just like Game of Thrones. Uh-huh. Oh man, Game of Thrones was great. Right <sighs> until that, dude. The first three episodes, it took me out. Like, I remember just like being so bored. Oh yeah, it the it took me a, a couple tries, but uh, uh-huh. once I got over that hump. I got so fucking into it. Yeah. That was and then cool. I caught myself up. Like, I watched him oh, too yeah. fast and caught myself up and had to wait for the sixth season, yeah, probably. Right. I don't know. I don't know. That's right. When I, when I watched it, but I called my sister after the Red Wedding. Uh-huh. Dude, when they did that at the Game of Thrones oh, yeah. Orchestra, I was like, oh, oh man, I forgot. Of, oh, man. That was a great show, man. Mm. Especially in retrospect now at like how much I love Ramin Dawadi. Yeah, totally. Very, that guy's a fucking badass. Very great composer, man. Have you seen that? Uh, I think it's like a Fender video, maybe. Oh, oh with like the, the guitar. The Dude! Guitars the... So cool. <laughs> when, uh, when Tom Morello goes mm. on, I didn't even know what Tom Morello looked like. Yeah, right. But when he started playing, I was like, oh, yeah. Yep. That's the Rage Against the Machine. got that same style. Yeah. Like, do the wah, wah, wah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. what a crazy oh, fucking. Man, he rocks. Oh, he rocks, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely my second favorite guitarist after uh, Joe Perry of Aerosmith. Oh. Because <laughs> hey. that dude's just yeah. so, uh, uh-huh. he's like bulletproof. Oh, Joe so Perry's fucking cool, awesome. Yeah. Same with Steven Tyler. Dude, yeah. I started oh, totally off topic started the Epstein documentary today. Oh, did you? Yeah, because Derek and I were talking the other day. Can't remember how it came up, but he was like, dude, how do you get caught? And I was like, that is a really good question. So we looked it up and it was something about how like he got charged with two things like soliciting prostitution and soliciting a minor for whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, for like fucking a 14 year old girl I think mm. and so I watched the first episode today just to learn about it yeah. it's, it's it's dude it's crazier than like you can even think oh is it really nuts oh yeah oh wow cause like I don't want to be one of these guys but like there's nothing you could convince me to uh-huh. say he didn't kill himself and it, when you're watching this shit it's just like oh man this is like how did I how is this so low key yeah you know what I mean What's really, on? really fucked up. Netflix. It's on the flicks. Mm-hmm. It's on the flicks, dude. I've only watched the first episode, but uh-huh. uh, dude, I'm I'm waiting for the scripted Tiger King with Nicolas Cage. What? What? You haven't heard about this? <laughs> no. Nicolas Cage is playing Joe Exotic you in a it. scripted Tiger King series on Netflix. No way. That's insane. It's also perfect casting. Like, usually I, I really don't like Nick Cage. Oh, man, I love Nick like Cage. Like, Ghost Rider. Man. Are you... He kills, first, of course. He, he kills like in, like, Cage. every role, man. <laughs> he kills the movie, is what he does. You ever seen that one? It's like a vampire's kiss or something. 
Is that the one with the alphabet thing? Or is that the one with the bees? I don't know. He's like... He, he, he like... I kind of forgot, but he like gets bit by a vampire or something. And then just... <laughs> it's just him going like insane. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, that sounds it's, like it's, a strange it's, movie. It's a great showcase for his... His skills. I, I feel like I need to watch Fear and Love <coughs> in Las Vegas. When I was working at... You haven't at, seen that? No. Oh, that's and great. I fell asleep. When I was working at Journeys, uh, my manager was telling me like how into Hunter S. Thompson he was. He was like, yeah, dude, oh, like, yeah. Johnny Depp is the only person to ever play him. Mm. And like, he, he literally like lived in his clothes and at his house and he's telling me all so like i oh, and of course man. i love johnny depp oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, uh yeah. so i really feel like i need to give it another shot because uh-huh. i we turned it on at Derek's one night when i got super baked and oh, i just yeah. fell asleep oh, yeah. you know how that goes yeah, know, you, this is this is a ridiculous coincidence in my life I've seriously tried to watch i am legend three times and i've fallen asleep every time <laughs> no kidding and I've I've watched the end on YouTube, uh-huh. but I've fallen asleep. I guess it's just like every circumstance that I've decided to put that movie on, I've probably just eaten the for oh, <laughs> like I, yeah. I have yeah. no idea. But uh, I've never seen that one. So just, really, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you gotta love Will Smith. Oh, I love Will Smith too. Especially oh, like gosh. right now, I feel like I just yeah. need to like. Sense gotta support the man his yeah. way yeah <laughs> seriously oh my god made for some good memes oh. unfortunately for like yeah it was pretty funny what is it on uh not on his behalf what do they say at his expense mm, that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. dude um i've been listening to this comedian sam morill have you ever heard of that guy never heard of him so did you see joker yeah okay i, I just learned this that, that spoiler alert you know what he's in the the comic show and like he's about to go up and the guy makes the joke about like guys and sex being like parking oh yeah i think so that's him it's it's literally him oh. and they even say like everybody's sam Marill or whatever because i guess todd phillips liked him but uh oh that's great publicity for him <laughs> seriously just <laughs> learned about this in an interview but uh-huh. he is so fucking funny dude really? like i also learned he was on america's got talent Okay. And that's how he sort of came up. Oh. oh my god, dude. Last night, I got trapped in an Instagram TV video. Uh, 13 minutes long. Of um, an America's Got Talent dude who is a Rubik's Cube magician. No kidding. And he was doing what? just... Cr- so he made it to the finals. It was like four videos chopped into one. You're kidding me. Um, dude, and it, it was insane. The shit he was doing, he like... to the finals of a Rubik's Cube. Ru- dude, you would not believe the shit he was doing. He would have an unsolved Rubik's Cube. He'd give it to them to, like, unsolve, and they'd give it back. And he'd throw it in the air, snap his finger, it would land perfectly. Dude, he was doing all sorts of shit. And at the end, he reveals this, uh, you know, in the finals. He's got this big, like, um just like bored of unsolved Rubik's Cubes and there's four missing pieces, one for each judge. Uh-huh. He gives them to them, tells them to mix them up. They mix them up, they put them in the the, the thing. Yeah. And then he gets whatever is, what, what's his name? Who's the, like, announcer? The host? Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Is it Terry Crews? No, it's not Terry Crews. For America's Got Talent? Terry Crews? Yeah, wasn't he the host of America's Got Talent? No way. Yeah, wasn't he? The, the Old Spice guy? Yeah, isn't that Terry Crews? I'm thinking of someone else. He's on Wild and Out. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. It used to be Nick Cannon. Isn't it now Terry Crews? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, this this looked old anyway. So, oh, okay. But, uh, <laughs> but um, he, like... The, he gives Nick Cannon, uh, like... A deck full of celebrities names mm. and um and he just like he like shows that there's no like none are, are the same like they're okay. all different celebrities okay. and nick cannon picks his own and like doesn't tell anyone and hides it and he covers the rubik's cube wall he takes everyone's unsolved rubik's cubes puts them in one by one uh-huh. covers it and then he tells Nick Cannon to reveal his celebrity and it's Brad Pitt and then he pulls the thing and the Rubik's Cube wall is Brad Pitt no way 
How? Dude, he was he was doing shit like it it was insane. Like I don't want to give this guy's whole whole act away, but he would literally like give the judges a Rubik's cube to like unsolve in any way they want. Uh-huh. And then he would pull a Rubik's cube out of a bag and on all six sides it would be exactly the same. Oh. It, it it was it was insane like that's nuts, like that's actually. the thing is like when I started it I was like you can't make it on yeah, this and he exactly made it to the thinking. fucking finals because that's the nuts. shit he was doing was absolutely fucking insane oh man wow that's so creative yeah I mean oh, my goodness it's really worth looking up because yeah. that is just the it, it, those things I told you are just the tip of the iceberg to yeah. some of the shit he was wow. doing. And, you know, also just to have really good stage presence. Yeah. You got to appreciate that. Um, man, good showman, yeah. I, I never, like, watched that a lot as a kid, but my, my parents were and still are really into So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, you know, yeah. Cat Dennings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, that show's is that, awesome. Is that still going? Oh, yeah, that show's okay. still going. Wow. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Oh, yeah, that show's... It's actually really cool, uh... Ellen's like secondary host I don't even know what to call him Twitch is oh, uh, yeah, he, he he won so you think you can dance oh no came kidding. up on like yeah so oh, wow. Twi- Twitch is a really fitting name because he does like some real like pop and lock like, oh. hip hop stuff yeah and I think I, I don't want to get this wrong but I think he's like the only person to win doing that oh really yeah I yeah but you have to know. learn everything you know because yeah. at the end you have to like there's certain choreographers, and you have to do like ballet pieces and shit. Oh. Um, oh, was that? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool fucking show. Oh, um, I always like. So you think you can dance? I always liked the first, you know, episodes of the season, watching the really bad of America's Got. Oh, of the, of all. Of those oh kind yeah, of shows. dude. The really bad ones are the the real entertaining ones. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Especially, I can't believe they make you go a cappella in like, uh, oh, what's the singing one? American Idol. American Idol. They do make you go a cappella. That's so bad. That's the voice sick. was a really like innovative take on that. You, you, they had like music playing for you to the single. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but like they couldn't see you. Right, right, right. right. You, you, they, your voice had to impress them in the head. There was that dude from North Bend. Oh, yeah. That's he, right. he is the son of Austin a family friend of ours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, oh, yeah. And he was at the festival here. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he was. Good for him. Yeah, that yeah, that's really him. cool, dude. Yeah. I remember the first season of that show. We were also really into. Mm-hmm. We had a uh, a family night on Sunday nights. Oh, right. We'd watch something, but for a while it was that Once Upon a Time show. Oh. On ABC. Maybe. And then when we stopped, we just stopped doing it because that show just turned to ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I, I'm really glad we did that just uh-huh. because that time is, like, irreplaceable. Yeah, that's you know, cool. Just chilling out and watching something. Yeah. We watch a lot of fucking movies and shit together. Uh-huh. It's always, like, that's cool. they're playing card games, which I am not so much into. Or we're, like, watching movies and stuff. Mm, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, dude, I, my, my parents made me a list of shit I need to watch. And it's shit I know I need to watch, but there's, like, so much shit on my list, too. Like, I need like to watch what? Goodfellas. Oh, yeah. The Godfather. Oh, Scarface. They're all in, like, the uh-huh. same, like, category. Yeah. I started Scarface and fell my, This was senior year, probably. I started Scarface and felt myself falling asleep so I turned it off yeah so I was like this deserves uh, my full attention uh-huh. and I've just never gotten to it mm-hmm. cause now I don't know at this point in time there's honestly a lot of shit for me to watch like totally I want to watch Umbrella Academy the oh, first right. season of True Detective oh um, that was good you watched that I saw that that was good was it awesome yeah it was really good fuck dude I really want to watch that. I started the one with Vince Vaughn and Colin Farrell, but just oh, I've not seen that get one. into it. I love both of them, though. Yeah. Vince Vaughn is awesome. Yeah. There's like a shot-for-shot remake of Psycho with Vince Vaughn as Norman Bates. Okay. Like Viggo Mortensen's in it. Shot-for-shot. Really? Really weird. 
Um, and okay. people, like, I'm under, I think people, like, shit all over it, if I remember right. But uh, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, Vince Vaughn sort of kills it. <coughs> and, really? As, like, the awkward, like, yeah. Wow. Really well done. I would have never I thought, guessed. So weird, though, right? Like <laughs> Interesting casting. Interesting. I can't remember how we even came across it. I think my sister and I were just, like, scrolling late night through On Demand movies. Uh-huh. And it was just, like, the original Psycho and then Psycho, like, probably 2002 right oh, next wow. to it. And we were like, uh, what the fuck is yeah. this? For classic. Yeah. You know, it, it, I, f- I feel like I have, like, a you know big list of things I gotta watch, too. And it's like, I'll go to watch something that's completely forget about all of them. I know. <laughs> you know I know. Like, that's why I was so happy good with Good and, Time. Yeah. I, when I saw good. that, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm busting this off mm-hmm. my list right now. Yeah. Now, Uncut Gems is sort of looming over me. Oh, you gotta see that one. Yeah, seriously. Dude, have you ever seen Silver Bullet? It's a Stephen King movie. Huh. Oh, okay, so I grew up on it, but mm-hmm. again, probably senior year. Leo... Connor and I maybe watched it in that room and it was like the first time I really watched it as an adult mm-hmm. so so awesome it's uh it's like a small town werewolf story with oh. do you remember Corey Haim perhaps he's in like Lost Boys and uh he was really popular mm-hmm. in the 80s and 90s um and then he maybe if I saw him I know you know Corey Feldman from like Goonies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a show together called Corey and Corey. I'm trying to oh. think of what else. he was in all <coughs> sorts of shit um, mm-hmm. as a kid. Have you seen Lost Boys? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's a classic. Oh uh, yeah, should I add that to my list? It's a classic. It's a it's a uh, '80s vampire mm. movie. So it's I mean mm. I don't know I, I'm s- so into '80s horror movies because that's mm. what I grew up on. '80s so, Silver are Bullet is a classic. Uh, is no. No, uh, I can't even think of the words because I'm so tired and stoned. But uh-huh. it's really awesome and definitely worth watching. Oh, wow. um, it's Corey Haim and honestly, now that I think about it, I don't think there's anyone else like oh. really famous in that movie. Uh-huh. But it's uh, it's it's really good. And also, Corey Haim is wheelchair bound, which oh, really? is just like yeah, which like dude, when you when I think about it again, like watching it as an adult. Um, Wait, like in real life he is? No, like in the story oh. he's wheelchair. Oh. But dude, that's just like what a simple thing to add to like your protagonist huh. that, that creates huge obstacles. Very true. In a horror movie. It I didn't watch like the Insidious movies got pretty bad, in my opinion. Uh-huh. And in one of them I never watched it, but the I think the chick gets like fucked up uh by like real life circumstances and she basically breaks her legs and so for the whole movie she's you know like bound to a wheelchair and, um, in, in real life no in the movie in the movie oh, yeah okay yeah okay <laughs> I, and i just think that's a really good plot device no, you know what is, I mean? in, yeah. in, in a horror movie i'd really like to be involved in a horror project at some point in my oh life. yeah yeah i just grew up on that shit so hard that it would I think it would like almost like pay off the uh, way my parents raised me uh-huh. you know and you, you know so what's funny is like I, I'm more sensitive to gore now than I was as a six year old child oh yeah I'd watch a, like American Werewolf in London that was my shit as a kid that's why I liked Van Helsing so much it was like I loved like werewolves oh, in yeah. particular uh-huh. um, yeah and like I, I would just watch and maybe it's because you like can't really get it as a kid could be yeah. but i i have no idea but i would think as an adult if i didn't have that experience i would think like yeah that would probably not like it's probably like fuck a kid up uh-huh um, I, I remember <laughs> yeah. have you ever heard of the mist that's a, a yeah Stephen King movie. i've never seen it though really really graphic Right. In a weird as fuck, dude. Because oh, there's okay. like supposed to be all sorts of shit in the mist. There's like big tentacly, tentacly things oh. and like spider things. Oh. I'm watching that at my uncle's with my cousin. We're probably nine, ten years old, uh-huh. maybe a little bit younger. And uh, and my nephew is three. Yeah, so I was yeah I was like eight years old. Okay. Um, not my nephew, my uh, 
my younger cousin Daisy. Uh-huh. She's three, and she's watching this with us. And she's spoiler alert. Three watching. Yeah, yeah. And there's, oh, okay. and and at one point they're locked up in this store, and again, spoiler alert. They uh-huh. they open this gr- this like bay door, and uh, and this big spiky tentacle just like comes in and smacks a dude and it like sticks into oh. him and starts like ripping him apart oh, and and the whole time she's just going what is that what is that oh my god yeah and, and it was like oh we should turn this off you know <laughs> so fucking that movie is <laughs> gnarly dang what's the gnarliest movie I've ever seen probably like Evil Dead I never watched Saw or any of those because I, I'm not into like gore for the sake of gore yo we tried Last year, we all tried watching the Saw movies. Me and my roommates. Yeah. And uh, man, they just get so bad. <laughs> and I, just I, like... Just it's one of those fran- franchises, like horror movies, mm-hmm. I swear more than any other genre, that, like become terrible franchises. Oh. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, was... Saw, yeah. Leprechaun. Uh-huh. I mean, the list goes on, but... I was Nightmare on Elm Street was the thing as a kid that like really took me over. Yeah. Have I told you about my how I got in trouble in fourth grade? Huh. So again, I I grew up on horror movies up until this point, super hard. But um, my parents still didn't want me to watch uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street until I was like, I don't know what. How old are you when you're in fourth grade? Like ten. Uh gotta be like 10 yeah so i don't know still pretty young but uh yeah. because it's it's pretty gory johnny depp's first movie so i know oh, but wow. um yeah so i <coughs> i watched it right here actually i just sat like crisscross applesauce and watched it oh, right in on. front of the tv and uh and i got super super into it watched all of them my mom got me a, a freddy krueger glove from like the party store um dude I'm like, yeah, that cat's going. Cat's off. going again. I'm obsessed with it. Straight really? up, I'm singing the song to myself. You know, like, it's bad. Uh-huh. And uh, and in school, I was drawing all sorts of horrific pictures. <laughs> which and maybe I'm maybe I'm a fucked up person, but I still do that now sometimes. <laughs> like like when I was a sophomore, I drew like, you know, like on my uh, the cover of my binder, like a dude getting. Cut in half with a chainsaw, just because uh-huh. I don't know. Again, may- maybe I'm fucked up, but um, so I was drawing pictures of like Freddy Krueger, oh, but funny. it was more than that. I was drawing yeah. pi- pictures of like I remember one was Freddy Franklin, it was just like Freddy Krueger with like a wig on, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, just all sorts of shit. So at parent teacher conferences, my teacher, who was a f- really close friend of the family, uh-huh. and who has um pretty religious beliefs was oh, particularly snap. yeah so my, it was one of those things where, where my mom came home and she was like i'm just disappointed <laughs> yeah it classic just uh-huh. so i wasn't allowed to watch rated r movies for a while oh uh, yeah i was not either as a kid really yeah yeah there was a i remember there was sometime in that frame though Mm-hmm. My dad let me watch Dazed and Confused. And my uh, mom came home literally in the last scene. And she was like, I thought we said no rated R movies. And he was like, oh, I, I thought it was horror movies. That's rated R? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's rated R. Nah, that's kind of PG-13. That is definitely rated R. Huh, well, that's a good movie. Classic movie. Uh, the, the Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack has like oh, 80% sad. of that movie. Oh, man, Guitar Hero the third one in particular, dude, the Aerosmith one. The Aerosmith one was 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 my jam. Yeah, yeah, I remember we were at Blockbuster and we were checking out. I don't even know what we had, but we saw the like big pre order bundle for mm. the Aerosmith one. My parents were like, "Yeah, we'll do that for yeah. your birthday," because they just knew on the spot. Uh huh. Oh, I played that so fucking hard. Their ride in Disney World is wicked. Oh. I did that one. That so was awesome. dope. They're changing it though. They're changing it. They're, they're making it an Iron Man thing. Which no. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it'll be cool, but I really hate that. Yeah. Really hate that. that. That's lame. Especially because that says to me they're probably gonna change. The Disney World Tower of Terror to, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, like have the, you done the that? other one? 
I did the Tower of Terror. Have you done the Guardians of the Galaxy version? In, in Disneyland, they made it Guardians of the Galaxy theme. Maybe I did. Dude. So cool. And here's the thing. Tower of Terror was my favorite ride. Yeah. So I was more sad than anyone to see it go. Uh-huh. Um, and I still miss it. But objectively, the Guardians ride is infinitely better. Oh, really? And that is not a pun. Like, especially when you're, like, into that shit like I am. Like, have you seen those movies? Yeah. You know the collector? Yeah. That's the idea is that it's, like, the collector's thing. So oh, you go in and there's all this shit hanging from the wall. Um, like, Ultron bots and, like... You know, just stuff from a bunch of Marvel movies. Oh. And the the story of the ride is that he's captured the Guardians of the Galaxy and put them oh. on display. So it's set up the exact same way, right? You go in, there's the lobby or whatever. You go into the office and, like, an animatronic rocket raccoon comes in. And, like, oh. he gives you he gives you the breakdown of how you're going to break the Guardians out. But to do it, you're, like, setting free every fucked up thing in the... Oh. So, yeah, so it's all screens. They oh, play out, and they also the best part they play music. They play like music from the soundtrack, oh, so it's all like seventies music. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, so like you're doing the drops, and also a lot more drops, and they're never the same. So Ooh. it's like a different in the screens, like you know, there's a bunch of different screens. It's uh, I don't know how many different experiences there are, but there's a bunch of different like versions of it. Um, so much fun, and just like. The addition to music is something you would never, never, like... It's something I would overlook, uh-huh. and that's what makes it so much fun mm. better. Because, like, you know, on rides like that, it's like, oh, fuck. But, like, when there's when it's playing, like, the Jackson 5, it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, oh, it's, cool. it's pretty cool. Yeah, the next time they open up, Marvel Land will be opened. Um so I'll be super Probably. into that, but yeah, but oh, I'm, I'm sad to see Bugs Land go. Dude, I just want to do Universal really bad because I've never oh, done yeah. that. Especially Harry Potter. Yeah. I, uh, I really want to do a trip and just hit like every park in California. Like Universal, Knott's Berry Farm, Six Flags, Disneyland, and do each for like a day or two. Yeah. I've done Knott's Berry Farm. And that was pretty fun. We we did that for like a day on one trip. Oh, that's cool. That was a really cool trip. We went to the animation building, um, and my dad's friend gave us a tour. They were doing Wreck It Ralph at the time. They were making it, and they'd only put out like one poster that was just like an eight bit picture of his face with the title. And she was explaining before we were approaching it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a cell or something. But basically, at the animation studio when they're doing. <coughs> a new project the whole hallway is turned into this big collaborative thing but there's one particular like hallway it's so hard to explain like they always make a part of the hallway like a set piece so like you're you're going in the hall and there's like this little median between this big office room that they just made into like a red brick arcade like the game yeah really really cool and my brother had drawn like you know that eight bit poster and gave it to him, and uh, oh, wow. and the, the the woman who was giving us a tour gave it to one of the producers, and she like tacked it up on the concept art board wall. Right on. Isn't that cool as fuck? Yeah, right. they had like it was really cool. They had like big boards like with uh, rough models <coughs> of the character and like inspirations for him. And this chick was telling us like, yeah, for Jane Lynch's character, we were looking at a bunch of Final Fantasy stuff. And so they had like big pictures of Final Fantasy characters. Really, really cool. And then um, we also toured the Imagineering building. Also really, really, really cool. No kidding. I'm trying to think of what year that was. What was that one? Huh? What was that at? Um, they're both in Burbank. Um, but the dude the, doing the animation building it's crazy because it's the lot where a ton of shit was filmed Lost Mary Poppins oh dude even the uh, what's it called Saving Mr. Banks or whatever um, so it was really cool to walk down a bunch of that shit and like check out the shops and stuff damn um, yeah that's really the only time we've like gone to California and gone outside of Disneyland and so we knew we were going to do the animation building so I think it was a a matter of like um let's make it worth our while so uh-huh. we that's why we did Knott's Berry Farm um I'm trying to think dude what's funny is when we were driving around Anaheim 
there was a dollar store. This this was all within two, three blocks of each other. A dollar store, a 99 cent store, a 98 cent store, and a 97 cent store. What? Yeah, and, and we went to every one. And I shit you not, first, every one of them got progressively shittier. Like, the 97 cent store literally had an aisle, or, or not like an aisle, like one of those, like, you know, big shelf things tipped over, leaning on, on another one. And people were, like, crawling under it. And we were like, yeah, let's get out of here. And we're walking out. No and some kidding. chick in a big trench coat is like, tamales? And we're like, what? And like, we just sort of walk <coughs> off, but my mom stays to talk to her. It, it was uh, it was pretty weird. But then later, when Brett, Leo, and I went on our road trip, uh, the day before we went to Disneyland, we slept in the in the civic yeah um and we slept in that 98 cent store parking lot oh no kidding yeah it was so weird there was a donut stand open all night and there was a fat fucking line all night kidding it was insane it, it was like you would think it, they oh my god you would think they were like the the world's best donuts oh my god yeah and, and brett was like really adamant about getting one but there was the line was so fat all night that there was not a yeah it was kidding bad. It was really. Are they famous donuts or something? I have no idea. Just as it was so weirdly placed in the parking lot yeah. too. Um, That's nice. What a great night! And then you know we went and busted out Disneyland. Brett and I talked about this yesterday. Uh, went up to the lake, really nice, like really good summer swim. But uh, oh yeah, yeah we we talked about it. We were in the park for like seventeen hours because we woke up at six forty five. We were only like seven minutes away, and we had. Uh, that was one of the only nights we had a hotel. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, sick. Book that in advance, you know. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. Uh, too. And, uh, and actually, we had, we did one one other night because we were like, fuck it, let's do it. But then my mom ended up paying for it. Oh, she's nice. really gracious. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so we just checked into the hotel super early because the park opened at eight. And so, oh, yeah. you know, like, got to be there at 7, got to be in line. So we go through everything. And, I mean, not trying to brag here, but I've got the whole game plan figured out. We did mm. Guardians first. Because mm. it, it was basically like that's, you know, we get on it now or we don't get on it, get on it at all. So mm. we were in the park at 7 o'clock and sat in line until 8 o'clock oh. to get on the ride. And then we left around 1230. Because the oh, park wow. closed at 12, and then we walked through downtown Disney to get some food for, like, 20 minutes. And then I had to walk another 30, 35 minutes all the way back through downtown Disney. And, like, you know, it's if you're staying off resort, it's a little bit of a yeah. walk, probably, like, a 10-minute walk. Uh-huh. But, um, but, yeah, and then we went to this McDonald's and went back to the hotel, and it was just, like, right dude, so fucking dead. So I remember yeah, sitting yeah. at that McDonald's and my feet. It, it was nothing like I've ever fucking really? experienced before. Oh, my God. Dang. My brain was fried, dude. Oh, my bad, man. It was crazy. Yeah, and, uh, mm-hmm. Brett got the first shower. When I got in that shower, it, it was like, that's the closest thing I've ever had to a religious experience, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so, so Oh, blissful. I believe it, man. Yeah, and, you know, Leo, of course, went last because he was just like, because of the road trip uh-huh. or... Uh, more like able to do that than anybody else you know that you know what's so funny this is no joke when we got back because i took a long shift we Mm -hmm. we were actually we had plans to stay the next day and like do something but that day we woke up and we were like let's fucking huck it back Uh and uh and i was so determined to make it back by by uh you know saturday morning yeah that um I God, how long was it? Like a six hour shift, seven hour shift at one point. Just in oh, the driving? Wee, yeah, in the wee hours oh. of the night. This is what got me into energy tricks. And I, I'm not like into energy <laughs> tricks. I actually really don't like them most of the time. But uh-huh. um, but like I, I was just pounding these oh. strawberry whipped uh, uh, rock stars. Oh, right on. And just fucking going, dude. <laughs> um, uh-huh. I'm not going to lie. I've, Oh, yeah. No, so I, I come home, and you'd think I, I would just fall right back asleep, get in bed, and I'm like, uncomfortable. Like, I, I literally <laughs> almost went out to my car to sleep, um, and at that point, I just decided not to, because yeah. just, like, being in my bed was so uncomfortable oh, wow. after sleeping in the car. There was not a single oh, night no, where any of us felt uncomfortable, dude, because you could lay down <laughs> the back seat. 
That was the <laughs> nice in, in you the nice seat. seat. Yeah, you could lay down the back seats and put your legs in the trunk. And I, at the oh. end of the night, I would always organize our shit in the trunk to push it off to the side so you could just stretch your legs out. Uh-oh. And and I truly thought that was going to be the worst seat, right? Because mm-hmm. there's that sort of, like, hump. Right. Um, and uh, so the first night I took it, and it was so the best. What sucks, though, is it was so cold that night that neither Brett or I could <coughs> sleep. It, no, <coughs> Leo slept like a baby the whole fucking truck. I mean, it, it was insane, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, that night. Brett and I, uh, this is no exaggeration, every 15 to 20 minutes would wake up and turn the car on. Just, uh, uh, uh. And Brett, I didn't hear any of this, but Brett kept waking up because there were people right outside the car. We were in like the sketchiest Winco of all time. This, this was in Eureka. Uh-huh. So, so fucking sketchy, just like going in there, getting cardboard and trying to tape up the seats and shit, but... So I got that at that seat, but even when I was in the fucking driver's seat, which would, you know, presumably be the most uncomfortable yeah. sleeping arrangement in the car, oh. I slept like a baby. Oh, wow. That's Dude, awesome. we went, that night, we were in, like, some little town, like, 15, 10 minutes out of uh, San Francisco. Uh-huh. It was one of the nicest areas I've ever seen. Really? I don't even know where the fuck it was, but, like, the Starbucks... Looked like a, a fucking, like, New York bank. Oh. It was insane. Yeah, we, we were in this safe way. It just had these big, giant fucking uh, stone walls. It was almost like... Oh it had, like, the modern look of, like, Klahani. But just, uh-huh. like, millions and millions of more dollars. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and we slept in this safe That's way. That's insane. So dope. Yeah, it was really, really fucking good, dude. Wow. Probably the safest we were. Besides the hotels. Uh-huh. In L.A., I, I l- literally thought we were going to die at one point because uh, this sketchy dude came into Subway. There were two sketchy people in Subway. First of all, this dude talked like this. He was like, he was tweaking on something, but uh-huh. he was like trying to talk to the lady making our sandwiches uh-huh. uh, while she was making our sandwiches. And all oh. I remember him saying, because he said it at the end of every sentence, was, boo, boo. <laughs> Just like that, yeah. So fucking weird. And he said something to me at one point, or I thought he did. And I, I just sort of looked at him, and he was like, I'm not talking to you, boo, boo. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. Oh, well. So we're already like, fuck, what is going on? Yeah. And then this dude, and this is no exaggeration, he's like this. Like, coming oh. in, eyes low. He comes in, <laughs> and we're the, the very last, like, table. Mm-hmm. in the back and, and the only thing like sort of behind us is the door to get into you know the, the office or whatever yeah he starts walking behind us I'm looking at him out of my peripheral like is he about to club me in the fucking head or something <laughs> and he stands at the door looks both fucking ways and goes inside and we're uh, dude <laughs> and th- this, this was That's everything really this was everything in my body telling me he was about to rob this place like I <laughs> My intuition was I was, dude, I it's was crazy. freaking out so hard. I was thinking mm-hmm. of the, the headlines, just like thinking of my, what my mom would think. I was like, it's so typical going down to LA with my friends and getting uh-huh. shot. Like, yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And this guy, uh, uh, he goes in and then about two minutes later comes out in a subway shirt. And so oh, he's working the there. register. Yeah. Oh, but he still, yeah. he just came out <laughs> just in his green subway shirt. And I was like, oh, that's so relieving. And I realized there was a keypad on the door, which oh. is why he was there for, like, oh. you know, a suspiciously long yeah. amount of time. Wow. Yeah, seriously. But L.A. was really cool. I'm not going to lie, though. When we did the Walk of Fame, I was like, is this fake? Mm-hmm. Like, All right, like, where's the real one? Ooh, because it, it, it was, like, so grubby. Oh, oh, well, I bet. It yeah. is so grubby. Have you done it? Uh-uh. I just assumed you guys did that. No, we kind of skipped over it. it. It's crazy how grubby and, and really? gross it is. I literally thought like, oh, this is like some knockoff version. Oh, man. And then you start looking around, it's like Donald Trump, Marty Robbins, Mickey Mouse. Like, oh. there was, yeah, yeah. A uh, really, really cool area. Mm. Um, that's where we like skated around the most. But that's cool. Also where I felt the most unsafe. Mm. For sure. <laughs> <coughs> the Motel 6 we were in was sketchy as well. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they wouldn't even there. There wasn't even room for for us to park. 
We so couldn't believe it. That was such a dilemma. We had to park really? in a parking garage next park door. It. Huh? You couldn't park there. Didn't have enough parking. Dang. I was like, yeah, we're paying for a room. <laughs> like, are you, especially here. That's yeah. why we were freaking out. We were like, of all places for this to happen. Yeah. So, sketchy ass alley. We got there at like three in the afternoon too. So traffic was horrible. And we're sitting in this little alleyway trying to get this figured out. <laughs> Man, that's a pain. Very stressful moment. It was. Seriously. Dude, how long have we been doing this for? Yeah, Let's see. An hour and 24 minutes. Wait, that might be the longest one yet, dude. Okay. Well, yeah, I think we should probably fucking call it, dude. Yeah, we D- tired. Yeah, me too. I really appreciate you coming on, hey, dude. Man. Fuck yeah. Good to be here. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Woo, I'm glad. Thanks for all the comments, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peace.